What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff, the series where I teach you how to raise the Titanic. Okay, not the actual ship, but you know, in 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 spirit. Um, so I got this uh this little uh brick kit from Brick Loot. It's a little it's a little Titanic. Oh, you can see the ship right there, 217 pieces. Um, here is the website. If you want to check them out, there it is for you. And again, got the Titanic, brick loot. Warning! Don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. Lottie, lottie, lottie. Things and stuff, stuff and things. Same picture on the back as on the front. But yeah, we're gonna build us a little Titanic. So let's get down to it. Because as always, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Yes. Oh yeah. Alrighty. Okay. Instrucciones, and that is it. Get out of here. Get out of my life. And, uh, yeah. So this is the kit here. Got our pieces. Lots of pieces. Bags of pieces. Little pieces. Reese's pieces. I like Reese's pieces. I like Reese's pieces. I like it. I like it. Anyway, we're not going to do too much sorting here, too much knolling. Um, we're going to do this kind of gorilla style here and just, we're just going to dig for parts as we need them. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to dig for parts as we need them. But hey, any big pieces like this that I can sort ahead of time, sure. We can do a little bit of sorting, but I'm not going to waste too much time sorting. We're just going to do this the old fashioned way. We're just going to dig around for parts. Until we find what we need, I'll probably make this take a lot longer, but you know what? It's okay. Because we're still going to have fun. Right? Right. Boom. It's a lot of parts. I think it's 217, right? Yeah. 217 pieces in total. So, it's not a big kit, not a small kit either. And in case you're wondering, this big brick kit, this is a brick kit that's here in the background. This is one that I bought years ago and built. Um, and I love this. This is my, my favorite one. I love it. Love it to death. Very well done. Um, yeah, I bought this years ago. I, f I forget where I even got it from. I think I got it from BBTS. I think. I looked it up, but it wasn't there. So um, I don't know if they just sold it out or I bought it from somewhere else and just forgot where I bought it from. I don't remember, but I got this years ago. I just, and I loved putting this thing together. It was so much fun to build that together, to, to build that together, to put that together, to build it or put it together. That's the way you say that sentence. Okay. Instrucciones, ay que instrucciones. But yeah, oh look, 29, 29 Titanic facts. We're not gonna go through all those, but uh, I'm sure they're all fascinating facts. Well, number one, the Titanic cost $7.5 million to build. Wow. That's hilarious. <laughs> Don't the Marvel movies cost like $200 million to make now? $7.5 million, they made this giant ship. That's, uh, that's inflation for you. That's inflation for you, but anyway. <laughs> all right, let's get started. Let's get started with the build. Let's start putting together a Titanic. All right, so we got those and we are doing two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. Um, we need one of these. Okay. Okay. Ah. But yeah, that that big Titanic kit there in the background, I I I I love putting that together. That was a lot of fun to put together, and I, that was something I did on my own time. You know, that was just. I didn't do a video on it because I didn't want to. That was just something I bought for me for my own enjoyment. And, uh, you know, I don't need to do videos on everything I buy. Some things I buy just for me, just to enjoy on my own time. Not everything I, you know, not everything I do has to be for public consumption. You know, some things I can do just for me. That's okay. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that was a lot of fun to build. 
I'm sure this one will be fun to build as well. I am a little bit of a Titanic enthusiast. Um, I, I am genuinely fascinated by the story of the Titanic. Um, for those of you who don't know this about me. Um, this is a little known fact because I've never actually said it <laughs> on camera ever. So yeah, I am a little bit of a Titanic enthusiast. I, I am just enamored by the the story and the and the tragedy of the Titanic. It's just it's fascinating to me. I think I've I think I've watched like every documentary that's been made on on the Titanic. Um, but of course, I've seen the movie. You know, <laughs> never let go, Jack. Never let go. Anyway, uh, what's this? Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, okay. But yeah, I think I've seen like every, almost every documentary that's been made, if not every documentary that's been made on the Titanic because I'm just fascinated by it, you know, fascinated by, you know, you know, seeing the dives to the wreck side and seeing what they can, uh, what they can discover, what new information they can find and, you know, just, you know, still to this day trying to figure out exactly what happened, where it happened, you know, how the ship sank, how the ship ended up where it ended up and all that, you know. And, um, yeah, just, I, I find it genuinely, genuinely fascinating. That's just me, you know. I did see recently, um, the uh, little report they did, apparently they, they did dive back down to the wreck site recently, the first time in, I think, 14 years. Oop, that's in the wrong spot. Um, they dove down to the wreck site for the first time in, I think, 14 years, and, you know, they were talking about, you know, how, I mean, the ship's already in bad shape anyway. <laughs> They're like, it's in worse shape. Like, it's already in horrible shape. What are you talking about? It's already in bad shape. It was in bad shape to begin with, but anyway. But, you know, basically it's in worse shape and the ship is, you know, obviously, you know, rusting away, corroding away as something sitting on the bottom of the ocean will do. Um, but yeah, I mean, eventually, yeah, the Titanic's just going to be a big rust spot on the bottom of the ocean. I mean, eventually there will be nothing left of it because it is slowly just, you know, caving in on itself. The decks are just collapsing because, you know... The, the rusticles are eating away at the metal and it's just losing a structural integrity. So, yeah, eventually it's just going to collapse it on itself and just be this flat pancake of a ship on the bottom of the ocean. And then even that will, will you know, disappear. It'll just be a stain on the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> but that's where the Titanic used to be. Um, the funniest thing about that that, uh, that little report was the, the, uh, the news anchor. She was like, is there any chance that the, the ship can be brought back up? Is there, is there any chance the Titanic will see daylight again? And I seriously, the dude she was talking to, I, I really wanted him to be like, are you freaking serious, lady? <laughs> like, no, no, silly rabbit. No, there's no bringing the ship up. There's no, there is no raising the Titanic. Sorry, you're not raising the Titanic. In the shape that it's in, I mean, keep in mind, it's been sitting on the bottom of the ocean for over a hundred years. Um, if you try to actually bring the ship up, I don't know how, I don't even know how they would do that in the first place. That would require some really, some, some serious technology and, um, some serious technology and, uh, uh you know, just uh you know insane amount of power and all that you know just to, to, to actually raise that ship but even if it was somehow remotely possible the second you try to lift the ship you would destroy it because it's, it's in such bad shape again it's corroded away it's been corroding away for over a hundred years it's lost its all structural integrity it's not going to Stay in one piece if you tried to, to raise it. It would just fall apart. It would start falling apart as they tried to raise it out of the sediment. Like, it's not, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So, no, the Titanic will never see daylight again. <laughs> never, ever. It's a nice thought. But that's, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice thing to hope for, but it's not something that's ever going to happen. What am I doing here? <laughs> okay, so I made... Okay, so I made this piece. I did this piece. Okay, okay. I'm just, I'm distracting myself because I'm sitting here talking and building at the same time. That's the problem with doing these videos is like you're talking and building at the same time and you distract yourself. And this is when mistakes happen. 
Okay, so this is what we're doing. Okay. But yeah, I found that genuinely amusing with that, when that anchor was like, oh, will the Titanic ever see daylight again? No. No. No, it won't. No, it won't. Nice thing to want, but shame it'll never happen. No. No, no, no. But hey, her heart was in the right place. Her heart will go on, you may say. Um, okay, I'm looking for around one by two here. And oops, I put all these red pieces in the wrong spots. Yes, I did. Dang it. You have to be moved back. See, again, this is when mistakes happen because I'm sitting here distracting myself. I'm trying to do two things at once, and that is when accidents happen. But oh well, it is what it is. This is why sometimes I prefer to do these builds on my own time. <laughs> <laughs> because when you're trying to, to talk and pay attention to instructions, that's just apparently more than my brain can deal with, you know? Apparently it's more than my brain can do. My brain's like, nope, one thing at a time, buddy. One thing at a time. I can only do one thing at a time here. They call it multitasking. No, they call it teaching yourself to be distracted. That's all multitasking is, is... Multitasking is just a fancy way to say you're distracting yourself multiple ways. That's really all it is. That's what multitasking is. Okay, so now we're here. Gotcha. Um, um, okay, now. Now we are where we need to be. Okay, cool. So that's, I'm assuming, just the bottom of the ship here. At the double bottom, I guess so. <laughs> All right, so we got another one of these, and this, and one more of these. Uh. But yeah, like I said, I'm just I'm 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 fascinated by the Titanic. It's one of those things that I'll never probably lose interest in, even though it's you know. As basic as the story is, it's like, yeah, it hit an iceberg, it sank, yeah, what else is there to say? But, <laughs> but seriously, it's just, I don't know. It's just such a tragic story. It's such a fascinating story, you know, this, it was, it was the ship of dreams, as they said, you know, it was the ship of dreams, and it turned into a nightmare. But, um, you know. Because they were so cocky to believe, like, oh, this ship can't sink. The way we built this ship, it's not going to sink. And they hit that iceberg, and they were like, oh, crap. This ship can sink. <laughs> they, they found out the hard way. That's what they call learning things the hard way. You know, that's what they did that night. They learned the hard way. Oh, crap. This unsinkable ship can, in fact, sink. Who to thunk? You know, my question is, how did they not know? You know, how, how did they not think? You know, if you punch enough holes in anything, it's going to sink. You punch enough holes in any boat, it's going to sink. You know, it's... they thought they had the technology down. But their arrogance, unfortunately, was their own undoing. And that's the way history works a lot of the time. <laughs> okay. So we are doing that, correct? Boom, 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 okay. Truth be told, these instructions are a little bit confusing. Just a smidge, a hair, a dollop. But I think I got it. So we're just doing that. And then we are using... 10 of these, That's pretty much all of these I guess, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, am I putting these in the right spots, <laughs> um, I think I am, yes, 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 okay, so we should end up with... Oh, no, wait. Oh, wait. Right. Oh, wait. Right. Did I miss something? <clears throat> boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I feel like I'm missing something here. Or am I not? 
Oh, okay, no, no, I'm, not, I'm the same thing. Okay, okay. Okay, I get what's happening, okay. <laughs> the instructions are a, a tad bit confusing. They're easy enough to follow, but... There's some little things here that I'm just like... You just kind of got me a little kerfuffled there. But I got it, I got it. We're building a thing. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm sorry if I'm doing things off camera. My apologies, as always. I try to be good about that. Making sure I'm paying attention to the viewfinder more than I'm paying attention to my hands, but... There we go. Okay. So we got that. And we need a one by two that goes right here. Boom. Okay. Boom. Boom, shake, shake, shake the room. So now what are we doing? Now we need uh, some more pots and pieces. Need one of these. Where's the other one? Where's your where's your compatriots? If one's here, the other one must be here. There we go. Cool. And two of these and eight of these. Two, four, six, and eight. Okay. So these are going well. Okay, so this is just going. Uh, no, it's not going in again. Am I missing something? I don't feel like I am. Oh, I am missing. Okay, I am missing things. I'm sorry. I'm doing again. I'm I'm actually skipping parts in the instructions here. Oh, again, distractions, distractions. We get these pieces that go here. Okay. See, I'm skipping ahead. See, this is again. One of the uh, things about doing this on camera. Because I'm trying to talk and maintain some level of entertainment here, and I'm distracting myself, and I'm just skipping through steps. And then we get these. Okay. And one of these on either side. Boom. All right. There we go. Now we can do this step. Now we're here. Okay. Now we're here. Now this makes sense. Now we're back on track. Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you, baby. I see you. Okay. And then we get these panels that just go across. There we go. Boom. Boom. And boom. There we go. And now we're on the right track. Now we're on the right track, people. We're on the right track. Now, I'm sure some of you are already thinking, Hey, Emgo, does this thing float? Does it really matter? Because honestly, if it sinks, it's accurate. So, you know, it's just not really all that important if it floats or not. Really, when you think about it, this is one thing that actually doesn't need to float. This is one boat that doesn't have to float. Because then it would be completely inaccurate. <laughs> Sinking is kind of what this ship does, so it will fulfill its purpose. All right, so we need two of these. One, two, three, four of these. One of these, okay, so two, four, one, and two of these. Boom. Alrighty. So yes, we're building up some, uh, some structure here, some structure of the ship. Oh, and here's a question. Okay, I, I, I have an interesting question here we can pose here, a little topic of discussion concerning the ship, because I, I did read somewhere, I don't know if this is actually going to happen, or they're still working out if they're going to be allowed to do this or what or whatnot, but... I read somewhere that they were thinking about actually, so, you know, obviously since the ship is, you know, corroding away to nothing, they want to do what they can to preserve what they can of the ship. I mean, they've they've brought stuff up from the uh, from the wreck site, but it's been from the from the uh, debris field. You know, they've raised a lot of stuff from the debris field. They've even raised a, a big piece of the hull from the debris field, but they haven't touched anything inside the ship. They've left the inside of the ship alone. They've never retrieved anything 
from the inside of the ship. And I, uh, I read somewhere that they were thinking about cutting a hole into the ship so they can actually go in there and recover artifacts from inside the ship. And obviously, you know, the debate is on the one side, you know, this is history, it should be preserved, we, should, we need to do what we can to preserve this because eventually it's all going to be gone. And of course there are people with the, um, with the opinion of, you know, this is a grave site, it should not be disturbed. You know, you shouldn't, don't touch anything in the ship. They shouldn't have brought anything up in the first place. They should have left everything where it was because this is basically a grave site and just leave it alone. Um, so what do you think? What, do you, what are your thoughts on that? Do you think they should actually go into the ship and take things out of the ship or should just be left alone? You know, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. You know what? I, I personally, I can see both sides of the argument. You know, from a from a kind of a scientific, you know, archaeological standpoint, I can see like, yeah, we we this is gonna be this is all gonna be gone one day. We need to preserve what we can of this. But at the same time, yeah, it's it's a grave site, and you know, is it technically <laughs> is it technically grave robbing? You know what I mean? I, I'm I don't know, I don't know. I'm I'm of two minds on that. Like I can see both sides of the argument, and I really don't know which side I end up on. I just I can I can see it both ways. I don't know. But what do you think? What do you think about that? Should they actually recover things from inside the ship? Do you think that's wrong to do? I don't know. You tell me. What are your thoughts on that? Because I think that's... That's quite an interesting topic of discussion there. And I don't know if it'll actually happen, but... Apparently at some point it was, it was discussed... I mean, it's, I mean, it's been discussed for a long time, honestly, because, like I said, they, they have been bringing stuff up from the wreck site, but just from the debris field. But they've never touched anything inside the ship. So the question is, you know, will they ever be allowed to actually bring up anything from inside the ship itself? Because there's still a lot of stuff in the ship. I mean, you know, we've we've seen, I mean, if you follow any of this stuff like I do, you know, there's a lot of lots of footage from, you know, inside the ship. And there's still stuff there, and it's, you know, some stuff is actually still in really good condition. Like, obviously, like the the, the, the China and everything, because that stuff doesn't corrode underwater. Stuff like that is still in there, like, perfectly preserved. There's still glasses, like, sitting on shelves. There's one picture I saw in this book. Um, it's like a glass, that this, this glass is still sitting on its shelf, which is amazing how it stayed on there while the ship sank. And when it hit the bottom, that glass still stayed on the shelf. That's amazing. But, um, I know ultimately some people are going to think like, yeah, so what? It's a glass. Do we really need to bring a glass up from the bottom of the ocean? Is it really that important? But again, you know, from an arche archaeological standpoint, it's a piece of history. It's, a, you know, it, it's, it, it tells, you know, even a little bit of that story. I don't know. I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm, I'm. I'm definitely of two minds on the uh, on that subject of whether or not to, you know, actually go in the ship and, and take stuff out of it. I don't know. Like I said, interesting discussion. Interesting discussion. Okay, it's so one more piece I'm missing. There we go. Oops. One more piece I'm dropping. There we go. <laughs> okay, so... Um... Seems like this is just coming here. Okay. Oh no. Like I said, I find this I, I, I find this fascinating. Stuff is just fascinating to me. And it was also an expedition years ago to find the um, to find the, uh, what, what was that ship's name called? The Lusitania, I believe it was called. The Lusitania, which was the ship that actually saved the, the survivors from the Titanic. Because that ship got sunk too. That ship got, uh, was it the Lusitania? Or am I remembering the wrong ship? I think it was the Lusitania. But that ship got sunk by a torpedo. <laughs> and they found, and they did find that ship. The wreck side of that ship, because that one was lost for a long time. And it was an expedition that found it. You know, basically the, the savior of the Titanic uh, survivors. Um, 
So where are we? Okay, we're here now. Boom. Three of these. Two of these. How are we doing on time here? We're going, we're going. This is going to be a long one, people. So this is going to be a long one. But hey, I don't care. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying myself. We're having a nice little discussion here. We're talking a little history. There's a little history lesson here. A little history lesson here on them go build stuff. We're doing a little, a little history talk. <laughs> Why not? Why not? I need two one by twos and I'm not, oh, they're upside down. That's why I couldn't find them. We're doing a little, little historying, little historying talking here. <laughs> oh man. Ooh, excuse me. I'm sorry if you just heard my stomach like grumbling there. Sorry about that. I just ate, I just, I had lunch before I came down here. Sometimes my stomach just makes little grumbly, rumbly noises after I eat, you know. Some little digestive noises, I guess. Digestive, digestive juices are flowing. <laughs> okay, where are we going here? Uh, oh, crap, I put things in the wrong spot again. I put things in the wrong spot again. <sighs> why do I do this? Because again, I'm distracting myself. That's why. All of this needs to be moved down. One. Can I get this up? Here's my brick separator. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's my brick separator right there. Because I don't feel like actually grabbing my actual brick separator. Here we go. So that goes there. This goes here. There we go. And this. Oh, no. I did it again. I did it again. Oh my god, brick separator, come here. Scratching the parts a little bit there with the knife, it's okay. It's okay. You're not going to see any of that. You're not going to see it. All that will get covered up. We'll, we'll, we'll hide those crimes. That's okay, we'll just turn it around. Ooh, there you go, now you don't see it ever again. You'll never see it again. Okay, there we go. That's where everything goes. Okay. <laughs> See, and this is what happens when you distract yourself by trying to talk and build a brick kit at the same time, or a brick set. Some people, for some reason, get weirded out when I call it a kit. It's a set! Like, it's, 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 it's semantics, you know, semantics. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, no. People. Yeah, no. People. Anyway, we need eight of these clips. Two, three... Uh, four, five, six, seven, uh, one more. Where's that last one? Where's that last one? Where's that last one? Where are you? Where are you, Clip? Here it is. Boom. Okay, now let's make sure everything is going where it's supposed to before I do this. Okay, that goes there. This one by three goes here. And then all of these clips go here. Okay. We're on the right track. We know what we're doing. <laughs> For the first time this whole build, we know what we're doing. <laughs> uh Okay, we've done that. Oh, you know what? I just remembered. It's the Carpathia. The Carpathia. The Carpathia is the ship that rescued the survivors of the Titanic. Not the Lusitania. The Lusitania was a totally different ship. The Carpathia is the one that saved the survivors. Ah, I knew I, 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 I had a feeling I had it wrong. I had a feeling. So I know all of you, a lot of you are typing already. I know, I know, I know. But I, I remembered, I remembered. It's Carpathia. The Carpathia. That was the one that they finally found. Um found because that ship got sunk too um like i said by a torpedo it got torpedoed um but yeah they, they they found that wreck six of these there's always one i find i always find i need six 
I can always find all of them but one. There we go. It's always one that just eludes me. It's always one that wants to hide from me. Don't you hide from me. Okay, we are here. All right, so now, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're doing... Where are we? We are here? Looks like. Okay. I believe I'm doing this right. I think so. I could be wrong. I probably am. No, I think I got it right. So paranoid at this point. Like I'm doing everything wrong, aren't I? I'm doing all of it wrong. My poop deck is not properly pooped. <sighs> oh, I I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay, so we've done that. That goes there and that goes there, right? Yeah. Boom. So I'm make sure. <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure now they're in the right spot before I push anything down. Okay. Boom. Now we need four of these. One, two, three, four. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I saw, <laughs> I saw like the Tybo guy in that commercial. Boom, 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 boom. Anyway. All right. Boom. Boom. <laughs> okay, so now we need four of these clips. One, two, three, and four. Four, and these are going where? Uh, here. Boom. Look at that. A little bit more here. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Okay. And, oops. Butterfingers. Okay. Okay. And for these, which are going... Where? These are going. Oh, okay. He's just getting. Ah, I see. I'm guessing these are where our smokestacks are going to go. Our funnels. Ah. Oh. That clip is tight. Oh. That one hurt. You know what? Let me just take this off. Can't take it off now. Bricks operator. Come here. There we go. <laughs> well, let's just do this the easy way. There we go. There we go. Boom. Okay. So we've done that. And now we are moving along. We're moving along nicely. Moving along pretty well. It's still going to be a long video, but I don't care. Like I said, I'm having fun. I am enjoying this. I am enjoying this. I'm building a little Titanic. I'm being my little baby Titanic. And I am having fun building my little baby. There's my little baby. Okay, so two of these, six of these. Oh, I need some more parts though. Ten of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, now we have everything we need, and now let us go, let us commence. All right, so what are we putting where? Okay, so I will say this, the one thing I don't like, like about these instructions is that it's, you know, like everything's still like in full color. Like, it'd be nice if like the rest was grayed out and the only thing in color was the parts that you're putting on, so that way you... You can keep track of what you're putting where. That's the only thing that's kind of like annoying me a little bit about this. Is that I'm always like, am I sure? Is that a piece I already put on? So that's one thing I could, be, could be a little bit better with these instructions, but that's okay. Why, why is that there? I didn't need you. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. Sorry. Okay. Three of these. Then, oops, hey, hey, hey. And then two. Boop and boop. Okay, same thing on the other side. Second verse, just like the first. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
bird nest near Titanic. If you're just tuning in, <laughs> I'm saying that like this is a live stream or something. If you're just tuning in, we're building a little Titanic. This is what I needed. I grabbed the wrong part. If you're just tuning in, we're building us a little Titanic. If you skip ahead to this part, we're building us a little Titanic. <laughs> Which I'm sure some of you are. That's okay. Alrighty, we've done that. Now what are we doing here? What are we doing? This is the part where I go into accents. Oh no. Oh no! Alright, three of these. Four! Four one by fours. Two. Three, four. Two of these. And two of these. Okay. So now, what in blazes are we doing? Okay, so... What in the Sam Hill? What in, what in blazes? What in the Sam Hill? What in the Billy Bob Thornton are we doing here? Okay, here we go. Let's go here. Oh, the ship is taking shape. It's taking shape. And I like it. I like it! It's starting to look like a thing! Don't you love it when the thing you're building starts to look like the thing it's supposed to look like? I love that. I love that so much. Okay, so we are going here. There. And then these go here. Okay. Aha! So how's everybody doing? I don't know if I asked this already. Did I ask this already? How are you guys doing? I'm going to ask again. Just because. Hey, it's polite. It's still polite no matter what. How are you guys doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Everybody's staying safe. What am I doing? I'm sitting here building a little Titanic. That's what I'm doing. And I'm having fun. I'm having fun building my little baby Titanic. He's going to sit right there. He's going to sit on the shelf with his papa. He's going to sit on the shelf with his papa. That thing, this thing is like so dusty, by the way, also. I had to, I, there's like an inch layer thick of dust on this thing. I tried to, I tried to dust it off as best as I could. But it's just been sitting on a shelf for like years. Like it is so dusty. <laughs> oh, man. I took it down off the shelf. I was like, wow, there's a lot of dust on this freaking thing. <laughs> Okay, we've done that. And now we're going to build our funnels. Yay, funnels. So we need four, four funnels and four little black studs. Okay. And we're just doing that. And we're building the funnels. And that's two funnels. And that's three funnels. And that's four funnels. And then these go clipped onto these. Like that. There we go. You can even angle them back. Since they're on that hinge, you can angle them back a little bit. Uh, I mean, ball joint, rather. It's not a hinge, it's a ball joint. But yeah. You can take it. Just kind of angle it back the way it should be. Uh, See, that's funny because on the, the picture on the box they have them straight like this and I thought oh that kind of sucks that's not totally accurate they're supposed to be angled back but you can't angle them back pleasant surprise that makes me happy there you go Ooh. Ooh. I like it I like it Sorry. did I mention I like it I like it so now what are we doing now we are building now we're building the bow now we're building the bow. So, what do we need here? Uh, two of these. One of these. One and one. So what are we doing here? Boing, boom, 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 and then boom. And then obviously all that has to get secured by that. And, oops, one of these. And again, like I've said a million times during these, you know, Lego, <laughs> both official and unofficial Lego builds, I'm always fascinated by how people can come up with this. 
Because me, you know, uh, I've said it before, I'll say it again, I, I would not know the first place to start to make this. Like, if you asked me to, I'd be like, oh, make a little Titanic out of Legos. Oh, oh, sorry, Lego, Lego. Sorry, I didn't mean to put the S at the end there. Lego. <laughs> That's another thing that people get so triggered by when you say Legos. They're like, yeah, they act like you just like spit on their a dead relative's grave or something when you say Legos. It's like, oh, Lord. But, um... But, yeah, I... I if you... If you sat there and asked me, oh, yeah, go, go ahead and, and build a Titanic out of Lego, I'd be like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Why are you asking me? I wouldn't know the first place to start. But... Some people just, just, just have the mind for it. I am not one of those people. <laughs> and I have no problem admitting that. I am not one of those people. I do not have the mind for this stuff. I can put it together, but don't ask me to actually, like, you know, engineer this. You know, like, I, I wouldn't know the first thing. I wouldn't know the first thing to do. Okay, so I'm going to use... I would be completely and totally lost. Oops, wrong way. I can't even put pieces on straights. You expect me to engineer this stuff? No. <laughs> no. Silly rabbit. Okay, so all this is going on right there. Boom. And now we have us a bow. There we go. Ha -ha. <laughs> nice. Noise. We're almost done. We're getting close. We're getting close. Okay, so now we're putting... Putting it all together here. So let's see how this goes. Okay, boom. Ah, push that down. Okay. I got us a double bottom. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is fun. This is fun. I am enjoying this. Okay. Uh, one of these. Two and two. I guess now we're just doing the. Uh, yeah, we're doing the propellers now. Putting together the propellers. Because it needs propulsion. How else is it going to run into an iceberg? Unless you propel it into one. <laughs> A little propeller, sure. Like so. And oops. Wrong way! Wrong way! Hey! Hey! Come on. Don't be difficult, Titanic. Don't be difficult. Don't be difficult. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Who do you think you are, Titanic? <laughs> Alright. So that's going there. That's going there. And... All this is going right here, I take it. Oh, no, like this. There we go. Oh, okay. Thanks. Oops. I moved things out of the way, that's why. There we go. Boom. There we go. Okay. Cool. And there's only one more thing to do. Give this one on each side, or one on each end rather. And are we done? Yes, we're done. There you go. The Brickloot story. Yay! Brickloot.com if you want to check this stuff out. There you go. We're done. We've built us a little Titanic. How long did this last us? This last us a good while, but hey! It was fun, and we have us a little Titanic. Look at that. That's adorable. That's adorable. There we go. Cool. I like it. I like it. Now it can be displayed with his, with his papa. Let me, let, me, let me bring the big guy. Let me bring the big guy over here. Come here. Come here. Again, excuse all the dust that's on it. I tried my best to clean it, but it's just, it's super dusty. 
super super dusty but there you go that we have our big titanic brick kit with our little baby one look at that <laughs> it's the baby titanic it's the wee tanic <laughs> It's the little dumpling tannic. I don't know. There you go. That's precious. That is just precious. But there you go. So again, if you would like um, this little Titanic kit, again, you can go to brickloot.com. Check them out. I also have a little subscription service if you want to try that out too. Hey, check it out if you want to. There'll be a link in the description down below as well. And, uh, yeah, you can also check out the MGO Build Stuff playlist for any builds you may have missed. As always, link in the description down below as well. So, that is pretty much it. So, as always, don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of MGO Builds Stuff. And remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, pull me in your face.